Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Here I am in Alpha 3.4, um, approaching or steadily approaching Alpha 4. Um, obviously I want to get in here very quickly before things change and actually get myself a Cobra. I know an awful lot of people have had them already, um, but I was quite desperate to actually get there. So finally, I'm going to finally see what it looks like. Um, I do apologise for previous recordings and possibly this one with the uh, level of sound. Um, I still haven't got my setup right for working with that. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, I just hope it does recover better. So here I have, uh, as you can see, my ship's in a bad state at the moment with a 41% hull. But basically I've got enough balance now to buy a Cobra. So let's go to the shipyard and let's get myself one of them. And like I say, this is the first time I've done this, so I've got no idea what happens. It's all very, very exciting. I'm also using my new uh, T-Flight Thr Thrustmaster Hotos joystick. So that's giving me uh, immense pleasure at the moment, from a point of view that um, it's made the game very, very playable. Woohoo! So the ship's looking rather nice. Now I've actually got my mouse configured looking around. Oh, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look. So I've got my mouse pointing for the head view. Whoa! Okay, so we've got some instrument panels there. Oh, that's quite lovely. And obviously, we, I'd already seen from some of the other um, snapshots that it's obviously a dual-seated uh, ship. So what we've got in terms of the functions, it's all pretty much the same inside. So the heads up displays and everything else are pretty much the same. Clearly I'm now sat in the seat which is quite cool. Here we are with a beautiful looking keyboard. There we go, nice the lacy uh, panel. And then clearly your um, view out the cockpit actually is a lot better it's less intrusion on you actually with the pillars etc so that's really good okay so I'm gonna go and obviously it's no good going out without equipping my ship first so we're gonna reset the heads up I want to go to the services and clearly I've not flown this either yet, so it's going to be quite interesting coming out of the um, space station for the first time. Right, so let's go for outfitting. And I want to leave some money. Oh, so it comes pre-fitted with one fixed pulse laser. That's quite handy. But I want to sell that. So we've got different type of class hard points okay so I want to go for lasers and for so I'm going to go into the class 4 equip first yep so you can get fixed class 4 weapons and then we get some gimbaled weapons now a lot of people are going for missiles I'm not particularly after missiles right now so we do get class 4 fixed multi cannon etc I'm after, oh, so we do get class 3 gimbaled beam lasers, so I haven't seen those before. A class 3 gimbaled pulse laser as well. So I'm going to go, my strategy is going to be we're going for pulse lasers at class 3. And then I will go for lower class gimbaled multi cannons. So I've got 20,000, so I can afford two of these. <coughs> and then I'm going to go and get some. Gimbal multi cannons, depending on how much they are. 3,000, 6,000, that only leaves me 2,000 credits left. Okay. 
So actually maybe I may not load up the, the high level classes right now. Yeah, I'm going to go for... I'm actually going to sell the gimbal. Well, I can sell one of those. So I'll have to go and do some more killing before I really get some nice equipment on the ship. I don't want to leave myself in a position that I can't afford to buy insurance. Especially as it's the first time out the hangar with it. Yeah. So that's the um, hard points. And what utility parts can we buy? So we've got the heat sink launcher. Not interested in that at the moment. I've noticed that now and again you'll come out of that menu and you will drop out of outfitting. <coughs> what support tech do we have? Oh, I've not got any money. And the bulkheads. Yeah, not got enough credits at the moment. So the next key part is is to actually make sure we sort out the uh, weaponry. So I, clearly, I need to go in for my fire groups. And I'm just being a bit hesitant because I don't want to. Um, accidentally do the wrong thing and lose the ship already. So I'm going to put them all onto the first fire group. Right, so that is the ship bought and weapons. So let's get out of here now. As I say I'm very hesitant on this because it's my first time with a, a Cobra. I've heard it is a little bit faster. Whoa! And here I go. Well, it doesn't feel any different in terms of manoeuvrability. Hesitantly flying out. Oh, and I made it out of space. Fantastic. Wow. So there is a bigger jump there. Left. And I'm going to go straight to combat bar. Bond. Front. Front. Engines are too. So here we go then. See if I can get my first kill. Now people have been talking about the little black box that's in the uh, space in terms of outside the space station. Sorry, let me explain that. There's a mesh of which you can fly in, and clearly I didn't expect the acceleration on the Cobra to be that much quicker. So from that point of view, people, were, I think, are flying outside that mesh and instantly combusting. So it's quite important that you stay within side. When you come out the space station, you stay within that confines. People saying between 5,000 and 7,000 units. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm hoping my voice actually uh, portrays that. So here we got our weapons. Let's see if I can get my first kill. Enemy. Okay, so we're in a position that uh, I've not got anybody showing up as red at the moment. I just want to hold back for a minute. Let the battle begin properly. I just want to go and pick my first prey.
Now, from what I've been told with the Cobra that this first time is the manoeuvrability in terms of turning circles. It's not as good as the Sidewinder, which I'm used to. Yay! And my first kill in the Cobra. Enemy. It's the same tactics with uh, turning circles with a nice full reverse. Enemy. Weapons R2. Weapons R2. Oh, that's not a good way to f left. That Left. That was not clever. Shield tar two. Left. Left. Okay. Well, I'm after that stupid tactic of ramming my opponent. <laughs> I think I'm just going to jump back to the space station and see if I can land. So clearly I left enough money to actually um, repair the ship. But certainly when I um, upgrade to the uh, higher class weapons that's going to prove very interesting. Clearly um, I certainly have noticed that, that that took out an enemy but a lot quicker, especially when you ram him. <laughs> clearly the weight of the ship is... Uh, advantageous let's see if I can land this Hulk right I'm just going to go and select to make sure I've got my landing gear set up first. Left. Let's go and uh, ask if we can land. Left. Engines are two. Engines are two. Yeah, the ship is a lot quicker. doesn't feel as good. That is a snug fit. But okay, I'm in. Clearly I've been playing with the Sidewinder for far too long. Let's get down on this uh, docking pad. Wow, that's a bigger icon on the marking. <laughs> Just nudging her in very slowly. And I'm down, woohoo! Go and see the cost of that ram. Just to fix the, uh, the hull and the uh, other pieces of equipment that have been damaged by uh, me being stupid in my flying tactic. Okay, so no equipment was damaged, which is good. And repairing the ship. 
900 credits that's quite expensive so for I'm certainly down on the deal of having gone out but we're going to fix the ship so I'm all nicely repaired and ready for later so here I'm gonna leave the um, this recording I hope you've enjoyed it just to see some of the uh, initial Cobra flying from my point of view um, I'm going to return to this later but uh, I was recording this during my lunch break so I, I now need to get back to work unfortunately so thank you very much for dropping in and um, this is Commander Speedy signing off